So this is going to be the third way on how we can write a power series expansion for 1 plus x over 1 minus x. And we'll just be focusing on the form. This is how we do it. Here we have x to the first, here we have also x to the first. And then we have two things on the top, right? So that's the issue, because our best friend only have one thing on the top. What we can do in this situation is that we can use long division. And then in this case, we're lucky because it's going to work. So what we do is put the top inside 1 plus x, and then the bottom is on the outside 1 minus x. We will just go ahead and divide. So we just compute the first term. We need to have the 1. So we put on the 1 right here. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative x is negative x. And we go ahead and subtract. 1 minus 1 is 0, but x minus negative x is 2x. This is positive 2x. So by doing long division, we know that this is equivalent to say 1 plus 2x over the denominator, which is 2x over 1 minus x by doing long division. And then this is much easier to work with. Okay, this is the 1 plus, I will just put the 2x in the front. So we have the 2x right here and then multiply with 1 over 1 minus x. As you can see, this is exactly our good friend over there. And I will just work with the sigma notation in this case. So we have the 1 plus 2x right here, and then this is sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity. And this is exactly the same as that. So x to the nth power. That's all. And then we have the x in front. So we can take the x, multiply the inside. The answer in the back of the book, they leave the 2 on the outside, so we'll just leave the 2 on the outside as well. So this is 1 plus 2 sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity. This is x to the first power times x to the n power. Together we have x to the n plus 1 power. And this is it. And we also have the same radius of convergence and the interval of convergence with our best friend. This is it.